Kendrick, we heard how much it hurt you. You're right. Yeah. Uh, we heard how much it hurt you to not play against these guys in Houston a couple weeks ago. Just how much did you relish the opportunity to go out and show what you had today against the number one team in the country, your hometown team, all that stuff? Uh, I just took it as any other game. Like I said, uh, I watched it. It hurt it just because I'm from Houston, not because of who we was playing. You know, I had my family down there, you know. Uh, I just want to play just because I feel like they beatable. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really don't look at them like that. Like, they don't, you know, they don't fear me. I don't I don't think they guards are great. Like, I, I, I live for these moments. And, uh, man, hats off to Jamal Shea made two big, big-time plays. I think, you know, me personally, I think that's their engine. That's their best player to me. So, he, you know, he, he made big-time shots and um, – Hats off to them. Hey, Malco, this is your last game playing with some of your former teammates from East. I think it's was, it was five of y'all total. This is the last game y'all going to play as one unit together. What was your emotion leading into the game and knowing that this is the last time y'all going to play in Memphis as a, as a unit? Um, really, we was just trying to come out here and handle business. We understand how important it is to the city, you know, who we're playing for. So we was just really focused on getting the dub. We know the season is far from over, so it's not – you know, bittersweet or anything. We we got more to win. We got some championships to win. So we're just looking forward. Kendrick, this is your last home game. What's this ride been like for you playing for the University of Memphis with so many fans that look up to you? Uh, it's been great, man. I hope, you know, I hope it's what everybody thought it would be. You know, uh, I know the expectations the city had. Uh, I enjoyed every bit of it, playing with my guys, playing with my brothers, uh, playing for Coach Penny. You know, that's been a dream. Um, man, it's been great playing in front of the best fans in the country, you know, best student section. Man, it's an honor to wear this Memphis jersey. And um, I just hope, you know, everybody enjoyed it. And uh, I get to say I'm a Tiger for life, and I get to say I play for Penny forever. So it's been the funnest ride I had, you know, in college, the best fans and you don't get to play in the NBA arena often, so I'm glad to say I did. Uh, Malco in the back here. Uh, pretty much the same question to you. You know, you've been with Penny for a lot longer, and you've been in this city, you know, your entire life. Just what has that meant to you, this entire journey with the Tigers and stepping off that court for the last time on senior day today? It was, it was definitely fun. You know, I had a great experience here, and definitely happy. I wouldn't change anything. Definitely happy to be able to wear this jersey and say I played for my own city, playing for Penny, playing with some of these great, greatest teammates I've ever had, including Kendrick. So, you know, it's just been a ride. I'm very, very blessed to say I've been, can be a Tiger. I'm a Tiger. Kendrick, right here. Um, you, Malcolm mentioned you got some championships to win. Obviously, this isn't the end of the season, but you, you just took you know, the number one team to the wire. What more is this team capable of here over the next few weeks now that we've entered the postseason? Uh, like I said, we don't look at them as the number one team. We think we the best team every time we play. Uh, we done had some heartbreakers this year that done kept our, you know, name from being ranked. And um, we just got to control what we control. We still getting better. Malcolm still getting healthier. Alo still getting healthier. Most teams are what they are at the end of the year, but uh, we believe we still got a lot of room to grow and, you know, maybe we needed this. You know, we go Friday with that chip on our shoulder and try to cut down the net Sunday. So we'll be ready. Kendrick in the back, you know, you you just mentioned that you don't see them as the number one team and you, you guys, Malco, you guys have talked all year about playing for respect. When you look at that game, forget about metrics and forget about conference. When you just look the high test of that game today, they're a team that's fighting to be the number one overall seed in this NCAA tournament. And they're talking about you guys maybe getting in eight, nine, ten. There's not that much difference. How crazy is it that you guys are fighting for the respect that they already have? He, um, well, we lost to Alabama by three at Alabama, and we just lost to the number one team by two. So a combined five points to the two best teams in the country, arguably. So, I mean, to us, we looking at it like we can beat anybody. You know what I'm saying? So, psh, like, we, you know, we don't fear nobody. Like, coach make that loud and clear. Like, 
we don't fear nobody, and we think we can beat anybody, and we'll play anybody anywhere. If you know our non-conference schedule showed us, we'll play anywhere against anybody. So we ready. Uh, Malcolm, a couple quick questions for you. Um, today seemed like one of your best games of the season. Obviously, nine and seven. How how healthy do you feel now after coming back from uh, some time off? Oh, I'm feeling good. You know, I'm happy, just happy to be back on the court. You know, I have a great staff, great, great everybody around to help me feel better and keep pushing forward. So I'm just happy and blessed to be able to keep achieving and being more, having more minutes. Somebody asked you about kind of stepping off the court for the last time. I know you have a year of eligibility left. Is that is this it for you as a Tiger? Uh, I, I'm not quite sure. I mean, I'm just trying to win some championships right now. Guys, um, could you just describe how it is, how it feels to play in FedEx form with all the fans and how um, loud all the, the arena gets and everything like that? One more time. Can you describe how it feels to play in FedEx form in a sold out yeah. crowd? It feels amazing, you know. Um, it's, we are one of the few teams that get to play in NBA arenas every a home, home game and we are packing arenas out like that. So, you know, it's just a blessing for both of us to be able to play for the city, you know, and have some of the best fans in the world come out, support us, you know. So it's just it makes it more fun and allows us to relax more knowing that we have a lot of people behind our back. Kendrick, I know you guys have a few games to win before you get there, but how bad do you want these guys next Sunday? Bad. It's on my mind. 